have crews from Harris Creek Fire, St. Matthews Fire, and Worthington Fire. In all, six fire units tackled a blaze early Tuesday morning. It took roughly, you know, eight to ten minutes to get the fire under control. Before that fire was under control, flames were growing inside this home around 3 a.m. as a woman was sleeping. An unusual noise woke her up. Homeowner awoke to uh, what she thought was someone breaking into her home. Uh, she found out that it was probably the fire itself she heard. She grabbed her phone and went to a neighbor's and immediately called 911, stating her house is on fire. Her neighbors, Steve Pennington and Herb Bench, woke up to fire trucks lining their street. There was no sound of the sirens from the fire trucks coming up, and we looked out there, we saw all the lights. I don't know, it's probably around 2.30 or something like that. Finally, I decided to try to figure out what was going on. I didn't see smoke, or it didn't seem like it was a fire event. It just seemed like there was something that was going on, though, very didn't know what it was. Investigators say the fire started in the back of the house, burning through the roof in two spots. Severe damage to the uh, great room and the kitchen area. I'm just thankful that no one got hurt. Really thankful for the prompt response because it yeah. could have, you know, if they, if they hadn't got here as quick as they did, it could have uh, uh, caused fires with some of the other houses. So we're really thankful.